city. Thank you for being here. You're welcome, brother. <laughs> so, if, if, for any of you that don't know, Sandy is an ace on the Miami models. Uh, he won the 2022 NLC Yacht. Is that something? Yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, good luck, good luck. So, we're going to ask Sandy a few questions about you know, pitching his, his background, his coaching style, you know, what he prefers. Uh, but first, I'm going to ask you a few five questions, if you don't mind. Uh, what, who, in the course of your career, who's the, the, your least favorite batter to face? Oof. I think I like to face everyone. You like to face everyone? Now, yeah. <laughs> now, yeah. Before, so before I got a little bit scared, you know, because I don't know anyone. But now I got a lot of time on the big league. And I know how to fight everyone now. Who's your favorite batter to face? Favorite? Ha. I don't know. There, there is a lot of really good here in the big league right now. You know what I think? Um, I like face Harper. Yeah. Right, Harper. Who's the who, who, who's the most challenging at that? How about that? How about that? Well, every single every single time he comes up, it's a battle. Can you repeat that? Every single time this player comes up, whatever player is, it's a battle. Brett Hopper, that'd be your answer? Yeah. Yeah. Favorite spot to eat out in Miami? Ooh, there, there is a lot of really good places in Miami to eat. But I mean, my favorite is uh, Kiki on the River. Yeah. Uh, hobbies outside of baseball? Hobbies. You know, rest, enjoy my family, and play video games. <laughs> Uh, favorite professional athlete? Favorite professional athlete. Um, in basketball, I love LeBron. In baseball, Pedro Martinez. On um, football, Leo Messi. All right. Yeah. We'll Three. talk about Pedro here in a little bit. Let's talk about your, uh, last, your season last year. 14 and 9, 2.2 in the ERA, 32 starts. What led your success last year? Uh, I think my consistency, the consistency that I, that I have every fifth day, I think uh, that was the key to, uh, to keep me like in shape to, to complete every day and to win the, the national inside. Your hometown just for you to win the uh, Talk about that. How's that? Uh, it was something that I think I would never forget. You know, just went to my hometown, you know, I mean, see a lot of people there waiting for me, you know. Saw the, the king running behind me, something that made me a little bit like nervous, but at the same time I was like that to cry, you know. <laughs> because I remember when I was a kid, you know, when I saw like a professional baseball player like Pedro Bartolomo, I got so excited. And I think uh, it was something that I, that I would keep it on my heart for the rest of my life. Let's talk about the DR a little bit more. You're one of the women, your family is very important to you. Uh, you've done a bunch of fan fundraising and events in the DR. Obviously, the ton of DR influence in the MLB, how many players and the minor leagues, and you know the things that MLB is doing in the Dominican Republic to, to get as many players out. How important is that to you? When you give uh, when you give back to the community and when you give back to the kid, it's something that they want to feel blessed. You know, because you hope you hope in people. And I do that because, I mean, when I was a kid, I don't have like that person who came close to me and give like a glove, like clean, something like that, you know, but I mean, when I give that to the kid, it made me feel more blessed, you know, because I give them the opportunity to have it, you know, and every time I do that, I mean, I want to keep doing it every year and every year. You know, last year, I don't do it because, I mean, I was too busy sitting here, you know, I mean, but I want to do something like bigger and bigger to to give to everyone. You're the third Dominican born pitcher to win a Cy Young Award. Bartolo Pedro. What's what's his what's Pedro's influence been on you? I know he's obviously your favorite player. You know, talk about your history and what he's still totally done for you. Um, beyond that combo with Pedro and Bartolo, it's something that made me feel like. I made it, you know, because I mean, being the, the third Dominican player to win a National League Cy Young, but not just the National League, uh, the win a Cy Young, it's made me feel blessed, you know, because when I came to the United States, it's something that I 
make a lot of sacrifice, you know, I gotta sacrifice my school, my family, and all this stuff, you know, but at the end of the day, I'm here, I made it, and I got my family, they don't, I take care of my family, you know, and I represent my country, not just every few day, every day when I take the field, and it's something to, to make me feel a little bit, like, happy to do that. Yeah, like you say, I got five really good pitchers, you know. But I, I don't use too much my curveball, you know, but I think I don't need it. You know what I mean? Because I got my four seam, two seam, slider, changer, and I think um, I don't need any more pitches to compete you know, because I got all those four pitches to, to face any pin, any batter, and, and I think um, I gotta keep doing it, you know, keep, keep working every day to, to get it more ready. You're not being so terrible, you're so late in the game, but you're still real hard, you know, and it's seven, eight, nine, nine. Talk about your fastball, how you build that up. So number one is uh, routine, routine, hard work, and dedicated. You know, I think um, I don't have to worry too much about my velo, you know, because I know I can throw. The first, this in, the first five inning, so 97, 98. But when I get to the night, I got everything on my pocket, you know, because I know how to use my beetle, how to use my pitches. And I think that's why you guys saw me on TV on the night inning to 101 miles per hour, because I spent too much time on the weight work, you know, preparing myself to, to go outside every few day and be my 100%. When it comes to episode, right, you do for a lot of time now. Uh, what sort of metrics are you looking at? And what pitches do you really like to make sure that, you know, that, that you're not being, like you said earlier, you're not being lied to, right? That you use technology and to make sure that what you're feeling is what, what's actually being found. So when I use Ross Soto for, for my first time, I get like, wow, it's something that I recommend to everyone, you know, because it's something that you can see your progress, you can see your pillow, you can see your ready point, and all the stuff, you know, but I think um, when I use it for the first time, I, I see everything on, on the ball, on, on my body, you know, and I think um, it's something that you guys can get it because if you want to see everything, like, you, if you want to get better, or if you want to see your mechanic, your pillow, your you speed and all that stuff, you, you need to get a rat sort of. What builds over the course of your career? Uh, you know, what's, the, what's the big piece of advice that you got that's kind of carried you this far that you got to pick up and the approach along the way? So, I mean, I got a really good uh, relationship with my pitching coach. You know, you know something about baseball, it's something personal, you know, because when I feel bad, he came to me. When he feel bad, he came to him. You know, you know, just a pitching coach against pitchers. You know, I mean, you gotta create like a really good relationship. You know, because at the end of the day, he got you. You know, he got you. He's the guy who's working with you. He's the guy who gives you the opportunity to prepare yourself to to go outside and compete. And I think uh, when you follow the pitching coach, you don't need to worry about it. You know, because he got you, and you gotta listen to him. What advice would you give to a player, a DR, or any of the other players or these coaches uh, to make it to that next level, right? To, to get recruited to college, to get drafted to the MLB, to make it to where you are now. Obviously, it's very beautiful. What would be some advice you give to players today? You know, if you got a goal, if you have a goal, just go there and get it. Doesn't matter what happened, doesn't matter how, how much you need to sacrifice or if you need to, to sell something or if you need to lose something, forget about it. Just go get to go, you go, you know, because, I mean, I put a goal on my heart and I make it, you know, because, I mean, I came from a, like, really poor family, 
you know, and I mean, every time I take to the field, I'm thinking about my family, you know, because I want to give them like a better life. But at the end of the day, I, I did, you know, <laughs> and I feel blessed, I feel happy because right now my family, they don't need anything. They just need me because I take care of everyone. So for the key, discipline, hard work, listen to your fathers, to your mom, listen to your coach, you know, and compete. Compete hard, you know, and just go there and get the goal. A couple more questions. One being about our specifically. I think one of the most underutilized features of our is the video functionality and being able to have that video paired with the data. Um, you know, so I think a ton of that's going to be able to use by uh, using the products. How do you utilize video, you know, in like the off season, during the season? Uh, what does that look like for you? I mean, <clears throat> sorry. So, all the time when I use Brass Auto, I'm, I'm trying to save all the video, you know, to watch it on my house, watch it on my bed, watch it on my couch, you know, because if you want to get better, you need to watch video. Watch video, watch everything you do bad, everything you do good, you know, and think about, like, what you can do to get better, what you can do to, to get there, you know, and I think uh, it's something to help me to be more consistency when I watch video, I don't need to forget about anything, you know, because, I mean, I know when I watch video, I see, like, everything I do bad or everything I do good, you know, and, and I just need to write it, you know, because, I mean, if I want to, like, repeat and repeat, you need to watch video. We had a question on Twitter in regards to the singer, and I'm asking is, could you talk to the group and how, how you approach your singer, how you live it? Do you have both? <laughs> so, I mean, there is a lot of pitchers who throw like different sinkers than me, you know, because they have a uh, different grip, you know. But I mean, when I want to throw my two seam, I mean, I'm trying to be focused on my fingers. You know, I, I saw pitcher throw two seam like that, like that, like that. No, I gotta be consistency. If I throw my two seam here. I gotta keep trying it, you know, those money go da da. Don't worry about it. You know, the secret is in here, in front of your face. Everything it, everything of your success when you throw your pictures gotta be in here, in front of your face. Last question. Where should we go this uh this upcoming season? Obviously, you put your brand name classes, all star game, sign up one of the things you think you want to accomplish next year. You know. Be healthy. Be healthy and do the same or better. You know, when you're healthy, you can do the same or you can do better. And I think uh, I want to be healthy all year. That, that's why I prepare myself so hard. Awesome. Well, listen, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a first half uh, effort of ours. Uh, we've got a, a big day again tomorrow. Obviously, uh, we'll the trade show is going to Any questions you guys have for us, uh, please feel free to ask. Danny, uh, has to put that right, actually. Uh, so please, we'll honor that. So we'll show you how we're going to get. But everybody, we give it up for today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Money, man. Okay.